A poisonous fish continues to threaten the marine life in the Cayman Islands. So far, the Department of Environment has caught 50 red lionfish, and that number keeps growing from week to week. Now overseas experts are being called in to join the fight. This lionfish invasion is the first time that any marine fish has ever successfully invaded the Atlantic. So nobody really had a history of how to deal with a situation like this. And in the Bahamas, when the first fish showed up in 2004, nobody really knew quite what to do about it or what the impacts would be. So no direct immediate action was taken in the early stages of that invasion. And then in about 2006 or 2007, the population just exploded. And by then, it was really too late. Like the Bahamas, red lionfish could flood our waters if we don't move fast. We're finding that very small lionfish are able to reproduce. Uh, 90 millimeters for uh, a male lionfish, which is about four inches in total length. Uh, a lionfish female is able to reproduce 30,000 eggs in one spawning event. They reproduce every 30 days and year round in this water. In the initial stages of this lionfish invasion, we're gonna start seeing fish that are on the small side, uh, maybe four, five, six inches long. In the Bahamas, where they're heavily invaded, we see fish that are 18 inches in size. And I think what we're seeing here is we're seeing the very early stages of this invasion, less than a year old. And by acting early and removing the fish before they can become established, we hope to avoid what happened in the Bahamas. And it's been increasing at a rate that's, that we have been unable to keep up with in terms of our removal efforts. Um, as such, we contacted Lad Aikens and Stephanie Green and we've asked them to come and share with us their experiences that they have through working in the Bahamas and also their techniques for removing the lionfish in the Bahamas. Recently, dive operators learned those techniques. The Department of Environment hosted several training sessions to teach people how to catch the ferocious fish. We're collecting the lionfish live and we've had very good success with these nets by moving very slowly we're not going down and scooping the lionfish. We place the net strategically and then just work the lionfish slowly until it swims into the net. And once it's in the net, actually we use two nets. We put the two nets together. We can collapse those nets down and then we grab the lionfish through the net using a puncture-proof glove. I think from what we've seen being here this week, uh, the huge participation from the dive industry, the, the keen action of the Department of Environment, and just the inclusive nature of the Cayman Islands would be a big benefit when trying to control lionfish. Realistically, lionfish potentially will never be completely gone from Cayman. Other regions in the area are quite heavily invaded and larvae and eggs are traveling in currents around the region. But by removing fish before they establish here and potentially impact native populations, Cayman will be able to sort of mitigate the impacts that are being seen in the Bahamas and elsewhere. And lionfish are really the perfect invader. Uh, they have venomous spines, so nothing wants to eat them. They're voracious predators. They eat lots of native fish. And nothing has evolved to avoid lionfish here in the Atlantic waters. We've been looking at a number of factors. Um, what the lionfish are eating, we're finding that they eat almost anything they can fit in their mouth. Prey items up to half their own body size, uh, primarily fish, but also crustaceans. Some of the prey fish that we found include commercially important species like yellowtail snapper and Nassau grouper. The fish threatens not only marine life, divers are also at risk. From personal experience, lionfish envenomation is very painful, and the first symptom is severe pain. Um, the first aid treatment for lionfish envenomations is to immerse the affected area into hot water. I primarily collect with hand nets, and because it is such an effective method, I have not been stung very badly. Um, most of the reports of envenomations come from home aquarium owners who are cleaning the tank and aren't taking proper precautions, as well as um, with spearfishing, the method tends to put uh, divers and fishermen into close contact with those lionfish. We are, uh, we're meeting quite a few times this week with the Cayman Islands Hospital, the Christie Tomlinson Memorial Hospital, and hoping to do some presentations to the private physicians, basically alerting them to the situation that's going on in Cayman with regards to the lionfish, and that they can potentially expect to see cases of lionfish and animation coming in. Um, they're not Hopefully we'll get the word out to the divers and it won't be accidental, but because we are training them, certain divers, to remove them for us, when the handling process occurs, you, there could be the possibility that they will get stung. So it's important for the doctors to know what the potential is for cases coming into the ER.
If you're not trained to catch the fish, don't attempt to go after it. Not only can you risk getting stung, but you'll scare the fish away, making it harder for DOE divers to track it. So what do you do? Contact DOE about the sighting at 949-8469. That number again is 949-8469.